We're heading towards Toledo Bike Life, baby. guys uh, been a oh almost bird almost committed suicide right there uh, been a while since I've been able to get out on the bike here been kind of crazy busy since the wedding got back after 10 days being on vacation and suddenly the work that they should have been done during those 10 days didn't go anywhere and now you got to catch up on all your current work plus the 10 days that you were gone so it's just been crazy busy at work and haven't been able to really get out and uh, ride but sometimes that puts in a vicious circle where you get so busy and stressed that you don't go and do the things that help you get de-stressed and the stress just starts building so I needed to take the time and uh, and leave the house and get out and just kind of ride Shorty's been looking to get into what I do and it's not something that you can just get into and do so he's been trying to go out of his way to to learn what i do every night that we're not working as a result it's just been putting a lot of extra workload but you know i hopefully get shorty into what i do and put himself in a position to support himself and his family one day and that is the goal because ultimately when i got out of college I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I was still searching, and uh, a buddy of mine who you've seen on the channel before, Whaler, he did the exact same thing I'm doing with Shorty, where he offered me a career path and gave me the opportunity uh, to be where I'm at today and uh, have myself a nice career, being able to support myself and my family. I figured it's best that if somebody was going to give me the opportunity that to pay it forward and uh, try to do the same for him. So hopefully in a couple months of training on our own time, he'll get to the position where I can present him in front of my boss and hopefully put him into a career path. The purpose of this video really quickly is I wanted to talk to you guys about was I got into racing started doing the OMRL things for people who follow my Instagram, my Facebook. You guys have seen pictures already. Uh, but I decided to invest in a OMRL bike, Ohio Mini Road Racing League. A little CRF 100, 2012. Put some street tires on it, and now I'm going to go ahead and race it in the stock CRF XR class and Formula 3 class for the OMRL Racing League. And this weekend, upcoming from today, as I record this, I am going to compete my first race. Red light, you just ran it. You just ran it. You just ran a red light. All right, well. I can just say I was too busy avoiding potholes, officer. <laughs> I have my first race this weekend at G&J, Kurt Ray in Ohio here. I practiced on Memorial Day, got myself a good six hours worth of practice on the track. I'll throw in some footage here, or some photos. I wanted to record, but... <laughs> My dumbass forgot an SD card. Uh, I left it in my camera bag and forgot to grab it. Jesus, this is sketchy. So I didn't get an opportunity to record, which is probably for the best because I really need to, to work on some things in the camera. While it can document it, it does distract me a little bit in terms of learning because it's a distraction in general. But this weekend, We've got another practice on Saturday, followed by an endurance race. So it's a two-hour race, which I'll be competing with three other or two other guys, so three total on my bike. We're definitely not fast enough to compete for the wins at this point, primarily because size is so important at this level. You know, being 215 pounds, the bike doesn't accelerate as fast as some of these kids that are 125, 130 pounds. So I definitely am at a disadvantage and not competing for the win anyway, but it's a good fun time. 
get to push the limits, get to get into that competitive racing. My first session out, I definitely ate shit and then proceeded to get ran over by my buddy who was following me. And I came out virtually unscathed, the bike came out unscathed, and, and that's kind of the, the benefit of this whole situation where we could get out and do this kind of racing and not be in fear of getting severely hurt as much as it would be in terms of big bike racing. Racing gives you an opportunity to get in there and race for next to no money. First 12. The risk of crashing is, is probably higher, but the risk of injury in the crashes are much lower because the speeds are much lower and you're still pushing it even though you're on a smaller bike, which, and the cost overall to do everything is lower as well. I just wanted to give you guys the heads up that some of the next footages you'll be seeing on the channel hopefully will be some race footage and some practice footage. Uh, I'll probably include some raw content as well. Uh, if you're not into that kind of content, you know, don't stress. I promise to keep doing the same sort of content I've always been doing. We're on the, the lookout for bike life. Ooh, okay. Go right, go right, go right, go right, go right. Right right here? Yeah. All right. This might have been a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't know what to tell you, bro. We're committed now. <laughs> I did not bring my carry. Look at the fucking tire. Completely slashed. All of them. Alright, anyway, guys. Well, before I die, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here uh, today. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting the channel. Oh, God. Let me know if there's any sport of specific content you want to see from the race weekend. Is that a stop sign? Yeah, sure was. <clears throat> was it? I didn't fucking <laughs> see it. Swear to God, dude. That bitch was fucking hit. <laughs> it wasn't. But yeah, post in the comments and let me know what kind of footage you guys want to see in the racing type footage. If there's like, do you want to see all the raw race footage, just the good laps, uh, the, obviously the crashes and everything hopefully will get recorded and, and filmed. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and roll out of here. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to keep the rubber side down. Enjoy the moment. There's bike life right there. Yeah, let's go right. Okay. And until the next video, guys, we'll catch you guys later.